And with this next video, what we're going to be talking about is selections, right? Doing some selecting. I've made quite a mess with uh, doing these videos. Um, I've got a lot of information here and I want to get rid of some stuff. So uh, the easiest way to select items is to click on them or select them, right? So if I wanted to select this line segment, I would hover over it until it highlights and you can see that it kind of highlights a brighter glow blue um, and I'm gonna left click on it and I know that it's selected because I've got grips right these are known as grips those blue boxes and really just hit the delete key on your keyboard and that will get rid of that uh, there is an option up here there's this little pencil eraser you can do the same thing uh, you can hit the eraser and then select objects it says so I'm gonna select that line and you can see a preview yeah it's gonna get rid of that I'm gonna left click to select it um, it hasn't gone away yet because I haven't hit enter I haven't confirmed that I'm going to uh, erase that so after I hit enter it will disappear now there are two other options that I like to use one is called the window one is called crossing and um, and then there's two styles. So there's a rectangular style and a lasso style. So what am I talking about? What you'll see on the screen is if I click an empty space and let go and not move my mouse for a second and then I move my mouse, based on the direction that I move my mouse, um, I'm going to get a different color box. So if I move uh, to the right, I'm going to get a blue box. If I move to the left, I'm going to get a green box. Now, what's the difference between the two? Well, if I move to the left, the green box is known as a crossing. And what that means is that anything that it crosses will be selected. So even though uh, I'm touching this line, the whole thing is selected. Okay. And if I go to the other side, which is a window, uh, which is the blue, blue version, I will cross over it and you notice that it does not glow it does not highlight uh, and the reason for that is because the window has to fully encompass its line segment or whatever it is surrounding so I have to completely surround that line in order for it to be selected all right so now that it's completely surrounded by the window that one is selected and you'll notice that the two lines crossing on the left are not selected. But if I go the other way, then anything that the green box touches will be selected regardless. So I can left click and you'll notice that all of those lines are selected. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that command and kind of clear my screen. I'm going to do it again. And this time I'll do a window and you'll notice that this is the only line that is selected. Um, that was the rectangular style. So with the rectangular style, you left click, let go, and then you move your mouse. The lasso style is if you click and move your mouse right away. And by doing that, you can create a lasso going, um, and it's a little bit confusing, but basically you kind of touch everything or, and cross through everything that you want selected and it selects everything. I'm going to hit escape to clear that. If I go the other direction, then it gives me that window. So again, I didn't fully encompass this, so I'm gonna do that right now. So I fully encompass that, I let go of the mouse button and that is selected. So you have the rectangular style, which is click, let go, and then move your mouse. Or you have the click and drag right away, which will give you the lasso option. So a great way to create selections so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click let go and drag a crossing over most of this stuff and all of this will be selected and I'm gonna hit delete on my keyboard and that kinda cleans up my screen a little bit more window and crossing 